Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we will take a look at how to build this Pokemon Star top-down game where a user can basically can just go around and explore. And I know that this is a uh, very new, relatively new to our channel as well, like learning how to build game. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's now get started. Okay, so now let's just take a look at this article that I found from medium.com and when you also click on this uh, name, uh, Michael Hadley, uh, basically he is the author of this article and you can notice that this is the first article. Uh, he has got uh, five of them. So this is the first one, second up until the fifth one right here, how to build this type of game. Okay, anyways, let's just come back to this article and I'll show you briefly how um, this game is built all right so this is uh, basically he introduced himself uh, working he's the developer and also the professor at the columbia college and this is the intended and he explained what a uh, tiles map is basically it's a, a technique uh, to create like a game world of like modular building blocks uh, this is the one example of uh, mario um, right here when I go down you can see that this is basically like an image and where uh, we can just pick uh, any piece of it and put it into like this type of uh, map um, wherever like uh, you want it to be style then uh, you can just do that uh, right away and also I want to mention that for this game you can see the graphics is coming from here just to make sure that if you want to find it or something and uh, I'll show you how to uh, download like the whole package as well that include everything inside that anyway let's just uh, now look at this one this is the template and there's a lot more and we can also run here uh, right on the fly like running the code and this is the first step uh, I wouldn't go in detail right now um, let's just quickly look at this article okay this is how we build map uh, we will also download a, a software as well right here when you click on that then uh, we can just uh, download that and here is this is the software uh, I'll show you how to use this software as well okay um, right here we have the loading the tile map and everything this is the name uh, from the software that match whatever that we write inside the code so this is uh, written in HTML uh, CSS and JavaScript okay right here we have more and here you can see that inside the software we have this type of map then we can just uh, drag or drop put it into how we want to build it and this is what it looked like another one okay so now um, I know that's that's a lot into your mind right now a lot of things to understand and everything but I just make it simple uh, let first uh, what I'm going to do I will just need to um, find the source code of this project and then we start from there okay so now let me just quickly search for the word download and here it is uh, we can see that we can just click on this link and now it linked to his uh, github repo uh, which is this uh, repo right here and now what i need to do next is to click on this uh, fork basically it just copied to my own repo my own account so now let me just click on that you can see that it's forking um, into my uh, github repo right here okay so now we have that inside my github account and now what are we gonna do next uh, right here we can just uh, keep it as it is for now and now let me also quickly show you right here on the code pen uh, where we can just uh, try to uh, play around with the game let me just uh, put this up here or probably I can just change this 
to say this one right here yep that's better okay so now let me just uh, right here when I click on the arrow button on the keyboard uh, up down right and left so we can just navigate to different places as you can see here so then um, this is the project uh, it's working as expected now what I need to do I can just uh, come here to the export button and click on this export zip file uh, where we try to download these uh, projects inside this uh, download as the uh, zip file okay so here I have this downloaded as you can see that this is uh, number one which means that I have already downloaded previously let me just uh, click on this and then uh, I'll open this inside the uh, Visual Studio Code as well alright so now I have the project uh, open inside the Visual Studio Code and you might be wondering why is that I try to uh, export this as a zip file then uh, I open it inside this uh, Visual Studio Code and what is the purpose of like uh, forking this to my GitHub account well uh, let me quickly show you what is inside the code and right here this is the uh, index.html and this is the script.js which is the JavaScript and uh, this one right here this is the uh, style.css okay so for this one let me just uh, quickly show you what is inside uh, we got the image and also the tile map uh, JSON uh, where this is just put like a link to wherever the uh, JSON file is located in then this one right here we will just need to replace this to the new one which we are going to customize this uh, game so this is a reason why I need to fork everything and put it inside the GitHub. I, I know that it can be like uh, I just create like a, bl a blank new um, GitHub uh, folder or GitHub project then I just put a link there but uh, at the same time I show you how to uh, clone and also uh, do everything that uh, you might be uh, thinking that this is uh, basically a beneficial. Okay so um, next i will also show you how to download the uh, software as well like how to uh, run the software and how to load the existing one uh, because inside the project right here uh, let me just navigate to the example and right here this is the post one and inside the assets uh, we got this uh, tile maps when i click on that you can see that there's like a project file inside here so this is the purpose of like uh, cloning this to my github so that I can easily uh, change it and once I already changed then I can just rename it into a new one and I push it inside my um, uh, github repo uh, github right here then uh, I can just push uh, the code into this uh, folder again and once I have that I just uh, paste uh, copy the link and paste it inside the projects and then we can just run it right away and um, also before trying to download the uh, software let me also uh, try to run this game as well inside our browser running locally so navigate into this this uh, folder and then click on this uh, index.html okay so here you can see that this is exactly the same thing as this one running on the code pen but this one here this is running on our local uh, machine so the same thing I can just navigate to different places uh, left and go down right here as you can see okay so meaning that it is working what are we gonna do uh, uh, we just need to uh, download the uh, software so let me just go probably just open it right here and just search for the uh, software which is tar all right so this is the uh, tar uh, where I can just search for tar download then here's this is the first link but let me just uh, click on the home page first okay so this is what it look like and we can just try to uh, click on this download okay so here you can see that we can just try to click on this download now button so if you want to pay this for the developer you can do that as well otherwise you can just click on this uh, no thanks button 
Okay, so now we have uh, different types of file. Then uh, for me, I'm running on Windows right now. Let's just click on the first one. Just click on the keep. Okay, file has been downloaded. Click on this. Try to install. All right, so this is what the application look like. Uh, so next step is I'm going to uh, try to clone the uh, project inside my local, and then uh, we try to open up that uh, particular um, file to open it inside this uh, application or this software. Okay, so to clone these projects, uh, just go back to the root directory. And right here, just click on this to copy this link. And let me just open up this uh, source tree where we can just try to use this uh, GUI software to clone, uh, to push, uh, to edit any type of code, which is exactly the same as using Git. And in the future, um, in the upcoming video, I'll show you how to use Git as well, like using the command uh, rather than just like using the software. But anyway, let's just uh, try to stick to this one. And right here it will just stay inside this uh, root directory where i want to change it to the dry d right here let's just keep this as it is for now for the name and just click on the clone button now we have the project clone uh, inside our uh, local machine then let me just navigate to here where you can see that this is the one that i just show you uh, coming from the code pen where i just export it into like the zip file and open it here while this one right here this is coming from the github itself where i clone everything and it stay inside the right right here okay so now on uh, the next one i just navigate to the example that i just show you previously example folder post one assets and here it stay inside this one right here, the folder top maps. And this is the existing one. Okay, so next, uh, what I need to do, I just need to copy and paste it. So this is like a new one, the custom one. And I just give this a name as new right here. And then uh, click on this to open it inside the software we just downloaded, which is top. All right, so now the project file has been loaded inside the software and I will um, also quickly show you how to use this software as well. Okay, so now uh, when you try to look at the right hand side right here, the top right, uh, you can see that we have um, this uh, different type of uh, layer like uh, this is the below player, the world and also the above player. So uh, to know where it's, it's uh, actually uh, stay, then we can just click on this uh, eye icon here. So you can see that this is like the ground floor and this is the world which is the uh, second layer like the house, the tree and everything and this is the above player. So for this one, uh, when you click on that, it's like the roof of and um, we have these three layers. So uh, look at this one right here. This is the top sets uh, where you can see that this is like the image where we can just pick everything and put it inside this uh, uh, map right here. Then uh, I can also show you where this file is located in as well. So now let me navigate back to these uh, projects. So let me just go back on these uh, assets. And right here, the tar sets, where you can see that we also got the uh, Super Mario here as well. And right here, this is the uh, actual uh, image right here as you can see it's exactly the same as inside the uh, software and we also got this um, Photoshop file here as well if you want to uh, customize uh, whatever that you want then you can just do that right away inside here and export it and then you can import it inside this and use it straight away okay so now uh, we have everything and the next one i'll show you is this one right here so if you want to build this uh, projects from scratch uh, what you have to do you have to follow this uh, when you try to create like a new tile set uh, don't forget to click on this uh, embedded in the map 
and scroll down you will also need to have like the tar layer set it to like base 64 and compress basically you, ju you just need to follow this and then um, you can easily understand but what i'm going to do and trying to show you now is to quickly customize the map here and then try to load it onto our browser running on local okay um so the next one uh, let me just uh, also quickly show you uh, basically if you want to uh, or you can't really use like uh, say you don't have the uh, Photoshop software how you're going to create one then uh, let me also show you one website where you can try to download so the website is uh, opengameart.org so here this is the uh, home page where you can try to download everything and when I click on the view more you can see that we have different type of uh, like this uh, tile the map so here you can see this and there's a lot more so say if I want to open this one and here you can see that we can try to um download probably this one's not included the okay so here it is the image and right here this is another one where you can try to download everything inside this zip file you can see like different type of pieces where you can just uh use each one of them and put it inside the project but remember that it's also has uh, different sizes so here this is uh 10 24 by 1024 some of them like different size like this is the 16 by 16 so it's not all the same uh, when you try to import it inside the project here uh, you have to make sure that the size is exactly uh, the same as we are using so inside our project right now we are using let me just uh, click on the map map property here you can see that we are using the type width and height which is 32 by 32 so um, just to make sure that it has to be the same as this otherwise it's going to be a very large one when you try to put it inside a project it's lost everything is like cohort like a oh, super big okay um, so now let me just uh, also try to customize this um, what I need to do just pick one piece uh, probably this white one and then uh, let me zoom in a little bit what I need to do just write down my name okay Hong so yep like oh control Z to go back and this one and and no more space right here oh also want to mention that this is inside the this is like the above a uh, player what I want to do I want to have this on the uh, below player which is on the ground floor so I need to go back that's how we do that or you can also use like this uh, uh, eraser as well to remove it now I need to click on this one make sure that this is selected do that again right here H O N and then right here we might need to remove this otherwise uh, let me show you we can't really see it so it's right here the wall okay yep that's the one just remove probably yep like that one more and then go back to the below player select this one this one should be letter G something like this so here I print out my name onto the ground okay so what about this one um, I might need to remove this one as well click on the world remove 
and I can select this to close it. Okay, I can select this piece right here in the corner and the normal one. Let's just connect this again. Okay, next one right here, this corner and close this. Okay, this one should be this one right here. Yep, that's look a lot better. And we might want to also remove this one, the tree, which we don't actually need anymore. Okay, looking good. Now we have this uh, written my name on the uh, ground. And the next one, let me also try to uh, remove this tree. So say if I start it from here, I go right here and step on my name and then go here. Uh, we can't really go inside this. Uh, I would say this is like a park or something. But then uh, because of this tree, why not just remove this as well? I'm going to remove this tree. So we have like a row to go. Okay, should be good to go. Now, um, I just need to click on this just to make sure that uh, right now, let me just uh, quickly show you what inside this project. We have this inside or uh, this is in the uh, JSON format. Go back and try to export it. A probably this one right here, export us. Okay, now let me navigate to the example post one assets uh, tile maps, and this is the old one, the existing one, and this is the new one where we just uh, uh, written my name on top of it, and also we remove this tree. So now let's just give this name as it is, like the new uh, town dot JSON and save it inside that folder. Uh, the next thing is going back to the um, source tree. Now let me just, uh, here we got the uh, new one. So this is the one that we just exported in JSON file and this is the new file that uh, we just created. Let me also save it to make sure that this is the latest one. Okay, so now we got this. Uh, I'm going to also push two of this. And then do this a name, probably just saying created a new new town in JSON as well as the uh, project file uh, the project um, extension, which is this file right here. If you want to also uh, try to see everything or try to um, update uh, you can find that here, these two. Okay, let me just commit it and push it into the master branch. Okay, the file have been pushed. Let me navigate here and try to refresh this, see if it's here. And here it is, we got that uh, 34 seconds ago, click navigate to date, uh, post one, assets, uh, tile maps, and here it is, this is new one, click on that. And here, this is the file, uh, click on the raw button, and copy everything. The URL is copying. Now it try to formatting like the file in the uh, JSON format. Anyway, just click uh, copy this. Now let's just go back to the project. What are we going to do? Replace this uh, URL with our new one, which is our new town, uh, Tosismon. All right, so now don't forget to save this. Save. And now let's just go back to the project, which is right here. Click on this and try to load. And let me also try to close all of this. We might not need it anymore. 
okay so here it is let me just try to walk and see if we got the name on top there yep it is here it is I got my name on the ground and we walk on top of it here you can see that this it's hung and also this one right here uh, we try to customize this one as well the fence and how about the other one uh, let me just walk go there and see if we can go to here so say uh, previously we have like a tree right here around this area see if we have the tree we can't really go uh, cross it but here we can now just walk around right here I have my name uh, right here as well so what about the next one let me just quickly show you what is inside the uh, file so see if we can uh, customize anything else um, right here we have the width we have the height uh, preload this is the uh, our avatar the atlas this is the tile map and here uh, you can see that the add tile set assets it's exactly the same as we see inside here just to make sure that it is uh, exactly the same otherwise it might be an error when you try to load this and also this one right here right here this is the below player the world and the above player which is exactly the same here okay so now we have that uh, next we have this create oh and one more thing which is right here the have text uh, it has like a fixed position on the screen so you can see that this is the fixed one and I might want to try and add another one uh, probably down here somewhere here and then just let me okay copy this one right here and paste it down here um, the text I should say hi guys welcome to Hongli YouTube channel just like that and I need to change the position probably 200 540 okay let's now look at it again refresh and here it is guys uh, we got this text saying hi guys welcome to Hongli YouTube channel I can still walk as it is so it stay inside this uh, fixed position inside the middle and right here I can't even go on top of here because I have this set up if I remove this and try to load it again then we can just walk through here but anyway yep that's pretty much it guys um, we have this setup we can customize this we learn how to download the software also uh, we learn how to add our own name or uh, you can try to add any houses uh, right here you can see if you want or you can add like more flower uh, along uh, the road here and customize and put uh, this case I put my name on top of it and yep um, if you have any question let me know in the comment section below uh, until then see you guys in the next video